In this video, we're gonna be using Dr. Mike's. This is Old Fashioned Cocktail. And the Clower brand razor that we recently got back from Lather Me Whiskers, fresh with his edge, so we'll give that a shot today. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, Today we're going to be using Dr. Mike's Old Fashioned Cocktail, and this was sent to me by Lather Me Whiskers, who you can find on YouTube and Instagram. I will link his information below. And this is a glycerin-based soap. Now, I don't have a lot of details on this soap. Ordinarily, I would sh share with you the ingredients, the cost. All I know is this is $10 um, at Dr. Mike's Emporium. I don't know what it is per ounce because I don't know how many ounces was in it and it's not on the website and the ingredients are not on the website what i will say the scent is quite nice it is uh, i'll put the notes for you right there you get bourbon uh, orange cherry really really nice scent scent strength for me is about maybe 3.5 to 4 slightly under um medium but it is a nice scent and i do like the scent and so it's a good scent so i look forward to using this today presumably just a glycerin based uh, soap or at least that's what it Looks like, so we'll check that out. And also, we'll, we're going to be using the Clover brand razor that I sent to Lather Me uh, Whiskers. He cleaned it up, repinned it, and uh, put his edge on it. So we're looking forward to trying his edge for the first time. And also, since we have sort of a pirate theme going, at least with the Lather Me Whiskers stuff, we're going to be using Captain's Choice Land Ho, which I forgot I had. Uh, Scott from Captain's Choice sent this to me. And uh, I've never used it before, so um, I won't put it on at the start of the shave because these are two different sort of scents. But this is a fougere aftershave, but it has a citrus twist to it, which I like. This actually smells quite good, so we look forward to using this at the end of the shave. So, without further ado, let's get going. We're going to put some moisture on our face, uh, our regular 24 hours growth. And by the way, you see that memory line <laughs> yesterday from the Double Duck Hair Shepherd, you couldn't see it during the video, but I knew it would be there because usually it comes a day later. Um, I don't know why that is, but it is. The, the brush today is uh, the artist formerly known as That Darn Rob, and I wish he was still known as That Darn Rob, but sadly it's now Chisel and Hound. And almost everybody that I've talked to uh, has opined on it and said, yeah, I wish he hadn't changed his name to Chisel and Hound or the logo because we all really love the that darn Rob coin. And so I'm so glad to have his older coin um, because now they're, you know, chisel and hound. Still makes great brushes. Um, but I think I've been seeing some of the brushes and I think he tries to match the colors to that coin. And sometimes I just don't think they look as good as the old, you know, the old that darn Rob, you know, with this coin. But that's just me. And one of the things I'm going to do today is use a Doug Bear sort of trick on that memory line. And I'll show you just in a moment in case you missed his video because I sort of lathered it over it. So we'll remove that. By the way, no problems with the lather on this um, Dr. Mike's and it smells great. So no problems so far with that. So let's remove that lather from the memory line there. And what uh, Doug Bear suggested was go ahead and use your, a little bit of a stick a pencil here and just sort of Go over that. Um, my styptic there has sort of a sharp edge, so let's use this. And that'll sort of keep the lather at bay, so because the lather won't really lather well over the styptic, so we'll put that there, make sure that remains closed and <laughs> try to avoid it. And let's get going, because we've been blabbing too much already. But you know, that's what we do. Have fun, blab, and just try to enjoy it. It's all about enjoyment, folks, really. That's what it comes down to, enjoying our shaves. And I'm looking forward to enjoying this edge, which I've heard good things about from other people. And thank you very much, Paul, from Lather Me Whiskers. And that feels nice. So far, feels nice. That's what I expected, um, having heard this from other people who really appreciated his edge. That is nice and smooth. Plenty sharp enough. Very nice indeed. No, nothing rough about that edge. I like that a lot. I'll know more when I get to my neck because that's when we really... Um, I can feel um, 
roughness more on my neck because it's a little more sensitive. Nice. So I would say based on our experience, and it doesn't take long, honestly, it doesn't take long to figure out whether or not you like an edge. Like when I get it down here on my neck and I start working on that growth there a little bit, I can tell, you know, I don't need to do a whole shave. To conclude, this is the nice edge. I really like it. I'll have to ask Paul what he used on this or at least go back in my Instagram um, conversation with him about it, but good job, Paul. I really, <laughs> I really like it. It's very smooth while well, still being plenty sharp enough, which is exactly what I want. I want smooth, but I don't want to sacrifice sharpness for smooth. So if I can get the best combination of both, that's what makes me happy in terms of an edge. That's what I prefer. One of the things I want to mention, if you saw that video yesterday where we got the uh, memory line is, I think those really small whack type razors or um, hair shapers, sometimes they're deceptive because they are so light and so small that you can become complacent and come in too hot, which is what I did. Whereas with uh, something that's a little bit more heavier, you tend to have a bit more control. And so um, you definitely gotta be careful with those um, hair shapers. But honestly, if I'm going to nick myself or make a line like that, coming in too hot is always the way I do it. I'd say between the Shavette shaves and the straight razor shaves, I've had about maybe about 100 and 125, 130 maybe shaves over the last six or eight months. And maybe five times I have nick myself and it's always coming in too hot like rarely do i get just like a regular old weeper it's happened a couple of times but if i'm going to get myself with a straight or shave at it's usually putting it to my face so i cannot urge you enough especially if you're new and one of the things we want to do is is not only get on here and talk and and flat but also to share my experience with you and the things that i have found um to be helpful and, or, you know, learn lessons learned, so to speak. And I would say that when you're bringing that razor to your face, that is for me, may not be for you, but for me, that is the, the time where I'm most prone to making a mistake, just coming into a hot, too steep. So keep that angle as flat as you can coming in and then rotate it out is what you should do. But then again, we all become complacent. <laughs> We lose focus um, from time to time. And so I did yesterday. And then when you do, you have something to um, remember it by. And that's why I call it a memory line. So be careful when you're bringing the razor to your face. And there's first a couple of strokes are where the danger is usually for me. So what you can't see is I'm actually pulling down here a little bit. I'm not pulling down a ton because I don't need to, to stretch it dramatically. Like I'm not trying to, to stretch a deer hide, <laughs> you know? but uh, I am stretching and I know it's not on camera because I, I try to keep the uh, the bulk of the shave on in the, in the frame as much as I can. And as you can hear there, it's, it's definitely busting those whiskers, so. I really appreciate this edge from Paul and he was very reasonable. Now I know he's pretty busy, so if you reach out to him, he may or not be may or may not be able to handle the work, but he was more than reasonable. And uh I really appreciated that. And he puts a good edge on a razor. This one is this one is smooth. but very nice and it's doing what's supposed to. And I have started um, sort of doing a cross the grain pass on pass two rather than going full on against the grain just for, you know, just to change it up a little bit. Tomorrow we shall use a safety razor 
because again, we're, we're trying to rotate through things and use a little bit of everything and just, you know, keep it fresh as much as uh, I can. I think I might uh, slow down on the unboxing because honestly, it's becoming a chore to do it. And there's a lot of unboxing videos now. Maybe I'll um, save them for something special. Um, I like to do them, but it's making a lot of videos too. So it does take a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit of time. So I might do all that back. But of course, as soon as I say that, I'll end up doing it anyway, because I'll be excited and, and uh, you know, about getting something. So who knows, maybe I'll slow down on that. Maybe I won't, but I still look forward to doing the the uh, shaves here are really the the uh, the thing I enjoy the most, but a lot of viewers seem to like to uh, to like those unboxings. But um, I would say that I don't enjoy them quite as much as I do the shaving videos, just because I enjoy you know shaving. And what we try to do here is not only shave, but to bring you information. And I'm sorry I can't bring you more information on the um, Dr. Mike's here. The scent is really good. Um, again, bourbon, orange, cherry, um, bitters. I forgot that. I really like it. It lathers well. No problem with that. So thank you, Lather Me Whiskers. Um, again, 10 bucks for I don't know how much. I don't know if it's three ounces, four ounces. I, you know, this was, I imagine Lather Me Whiskers used this for a while. So I, I just don't know how much you get. So I can't give you the price per ounce. Um, but my goal is to always bring you some um, information, like what's in the soap, um, how much it costs, price per ounce, a little bit about the scent, scent strength. Sometimes I forget. I think I forgot the other day in a video to even mention. <laughs> you know, I was so wrapped up in the in the soap. Sometimes I forget, but I do come into these videos with. I usually have an index card with information to share because um, I want to try to bring some value also, you know. I know some people just like the vlog type videos where we're shooting a breeze and I certainly do that, but I wanna to try to bring you some helpful information as well if you're considering purchasing. And I'll say right now, between the Colonel Conk and this one, and you might see little pieces there, that's just why this, this is a hard soap, so when you put it in a bowl, it can sort of break up on you a little bit and get, but it's no big deal. These are glycerin-based soaps. Um, you can see there's, there's some pieces of soap there, but they make a good lather. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this lather. And I'm not gonna stay there and lather all day because there's simply no use to do so. But they make a good lather. Let's get that little piece out of there. There we go, I think. Um, more than acceptable. Um, I found when I used those Colonel Conk soaps, they worked great. And so I didn't have any problem whatsoever with them. I think someone told me that at some point in time, they had seen the Colonel Conk guy on Instagram, um, you know, maybe being rude or something. I did not have that experience. Um, he, he shows up at the uh, Real Talks and I, I didn't, I've never witnessed him myself being rude to folks. So please, if you think I was supporting uh, someone who's rude, it's not for that purpose. Um, you know, I try not to, um, but then again, I try not to hold something that's happened in the past. If it's uh, something that I did not witness or didn't have firsthand knowledge of, I try not to take that into account too much because it becomes a pain in the rear trying to keep up with <laughs> everyone's transgressions. Well, on the same token, who among us haven't made mistakes? And you know, I've talked about that a lot. So for me, um, I like to, for the most part, base my relationship with the uh, artisans on my experience. But like I said before, if they're out there trash talking folks or being, you know, not being good stewards of the community, I will certainly take that into account. And we certainly will talk uh, about that on Real Talk. But I had not had any bad experience with Colonel Conk. So if you're someone who had had a bad experience with Colonel Conk, um, 
I'm certainly not dismissing that at all. I'm just saying I had not, and I had not uh, seen it or anything like that. And quite frankly, the soap lathered great and worked great. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's actually a good product for what it costs. This one is too. This is a very nice scent. So I see what Paul Latherman Whiskers um, was talking about. Really, really nice um, bourbon. Like it's not, it's not going to make you smell boozy. Like you just came out of the bar or something, or the saloon. But uh, you can definitely get that sort of bourbon vibe. But it's still pleasant at the same time. And uh, I like that. So Paul's Edge here, nice, smooth. I really uh, enjoyed it. And so I look forward to using the other razor that um, I had Paul hone up another one and uh, tighten up the, the scales on it for me. Again, I will link his um, information below. Uh, and what I can't tell you though is that he will have time to to work on your stuff. Looks like I'm, I got a little bit right there I need to get and then we'll be good to go in addition to that little space between the, the stash and whatnot. But uh, I can't assure you that he will have uh, time to, you know, take care of your issues, but you can reach out to him and check. And if he, have time, if he has time, he does good work. I can vouch for him on that. So thank you again, Paul. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. Let's just get this final part here and we'll come back and try this land ho. Aftershave, which I think someone like the uh, the Fougere guys, like maybe Ken Klitschko, he really likes Fougere and uh, Carlitos. Um, it might be one that they like because I, I've heard them discussing, you know, Fougere quite a bit or Fern Boy we, or whatever they call it. I don't know how all this stuff goes in all these groups, <laughs> but uh, anyway, Fern Boy, Fougere, whatever. We'll come back and, and get that in just a moment. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back here with the Magic Made by Witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is cucumber, just in a spray bottle. And I must say that was a very smooth um, shave. I used the PAA uh, Allen Block in the dry dock and look, Marion, no holes in the, <laughs> the, the uh, Allen Block. Look, verdict on Lather Me Whiskers Edge. It was a really nice edge. It wasn't the sharpest edge that I've ever used, but it had an excellent combination of sharpness while still remaining smooth. So it is an excellent edge. It is one that I really like. And so if I wanted to get a razor honed, he would certainly be someone I would look to as well because he puts a beautiful edge on a razor and he does good work. Excellent combination, smooth versus sharp on this blade, Clover brand. This was given to me by David Gonzalez, by the way. Excellent. Uh, Dr. Mike's, which was also sent to me by Lather Me Whiskers Old Fashioned Cocktail. It worked great. No problems uh, whatsoever with that. That darn Rob now chisel in the hand. <sighs> we miss that darn Rob. We miss the, that darn Rob. But uh, great, great brush. Two bed synthetic um, knot from AP Shave Co. And we shall finish it off today with the Captain's Choice Land Ho, which again is a fougere with citrus. And let's let's slap this baby on because I'm really looking forward to this. Wow. Oh yeah. You can definitely get the citrus. And you got the, the fougere gone there too. Green and citrus. Let's go for another round. We may as well because <laughs> I like this. Very nice. Okay. That was an excellent shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. You just can't beat that. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thank you, uh, Lather Me Whiskers, for doing the work. And thank you for the soap. I really appreciate it. I want to thank all of you once again. I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.